Hey, good evening and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome and Happy New Year to you all. We're finally in 2021. Let's just say 2021 has got to be better than 2020. Shall we leave it at that? So let's just hope that we've all come through 2020. We were all in good health. We're all, um, we're all healthy, we're all safe, all our loved ones are happy and safe and we're all feeling good. That's all we can hope for right now because I don't think any of us can plan anything right now. Who knows what is ahead? So yay, 2021, let's go. So for those of you who are new to my channel, hello and welcome. For those of you who have been a follower of my channel for a while, hi, how you doing? I hope you're all well. Sorry I've been away for a bit, but I decided in the end, even though my initial intention was to film a few videos over the Christmas holidays, it didn't quite work out that way for me. You know how things go. You make plans and someone's there to say, hey, 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 to your plans. Let's knock it out of the way. I had to, over the Christmas holidays, I had to put my family's health, I'll leave it at that, my, ham, my family's health first and make sure I was there, I was present and I was available. So um, filming videos and taking time out to edit was definitely not a priority for me. Things have calmed down quite a bit. I think everybody is okay in my family. So I feel a little bit more comfortable in filming and doing the editing, because that does take a quite a while. So I, I feel comfortable in doing that right now. So I do hope all of you had a really good and peaceful and healthy Christmas season. Anyway, I'm going to kick off 2021 with doing a what's in my trash video. This video is so overdue. I keep saying every time I do one of these videos, I keep saying I'm going to try and do these at least every two months, but I should really try to do them every month and I never get around to doing it every month. It just doesn't happen. As I said, I can't plan ahead because things happen. So I've got a trash bag here, which is absolutely over flowing with stuff so i am going to try and do these as quickly as possible try not to talk too much about each product but again hey i can't promise that because you know what i'm like let me show you what the bag's looking like at the moment literally as i was picking it up stuff fell out Hang, things are hanging out all quarters here so um, yeah i'm just gonna <laughs> just go through it and hope for the best right so let's go through so basically what's in my trash are just things that i have used over the last few months i have used up completely and i'm just giving you my thoughts of how that product has done there are also some products in there that i may not have actually finished using i just decided i don't want to use it anymore and i've thrown it away instead there are some products as well that have not hit my trash bag because usually my daughter she's forgotten to give me the empty container and and give that product to me so I could do a review on it so if I can remember some of those products I will remember them but that will most likely happen when I do my unboxings in the future when I remember a product it's like oh yeah that product all right so let's start off this is the first product so this is from primal beauty and it's a black soap shower cream so let me talk about primal beauty so primal beauty is a black owned beauty brand so a b-o-b -B, black owned beauty brand um they are based in england in london um the owner of the business i have met at an event which i attended oh god it's nearly two years ago now i can't believe it i have met her how i came across her at the event they were talking about it was particularly sort of like black beauty products that was that was being featured there and at the time she was launching she had a few products she had a sheer butter and I'm trying to remember what else she had I think she just had a sheer butter and maybe one other product as well maybe a hair detangling product um, but she has got a full range of products now she's actually got a shop which I believe is in South London but don't quote me on that she's got a shop in South London and um, she's got quite a few products all online so she's got a, a website Primal Beauty so there you go let's look it up Primal Beauty so I buy my sheer butter from her I get a lot of sheer butter from lots of beauty boxes which I subscribe to um, but I find hers is the best quality and the best value so you could get a, a large 500 gram jar and it will be about 10 pounds which is so good because I've seen other brands where you get I don't know 
an ounce, <laughs> two ounces, you know, like a hundred grams and they're charging 15 pounds for it. And her, her sheer butter is fantastic. So the last order I did, I bought two of the 500 gram jars. I bought the hair detangler spray, I bought the shampoo and I bought the shower cream. So this is black soap. Um, shampoo so black soap is really good for all skin concerns so from acne to oily skin to uneven skin to like bumps on your skin expert it's just a really really good product it's a natural product so this is a shower cream um my daughter was using this i didn't even get i think i managed to use it once but my daughter used it in her shower cubicle she said it's fantastic so i need to reorder it really 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 good product and again thumbs up to her sheer butter as well just fantastic product best value love her products really really good so that's the first product really good and i will buy that again and it's something that didn't come in a beauty box subscription which is unusual next product here is something which i got in pr and it was from lush so lush recently um where are we now we're in january i think it was beginning of november lush sent me a uh box of the newly launched afro hair care products um, and in that there was shampoo there was a shampoo bar there was two conditioners there was a curl cream there was a liquid so it was like a liquid product to help detangle your hair what was it i think that was it so there were six products in there this was the curl cream and again really really good product i use these this product on my so my daughter's been using it and i use it when i'm doing my niece's hair kayla so you've all met kayla my little niece who is now eight years old um so yeah so this is that great product really really nice very moisturizing very long lasting the only thing i have um, against the product is the price and I've said this before about the Lush Afro hair products they are very seriously priced uh, yes I know it's um, natural ingredients and natural ingredients do tend to cost a lot more but if you compare it if you compare the prices to the other prices of the hair products in there you'll find that per gram per ounce the Afro hair products are more expensive they are very very good though but it's it's enough for me not to buy it because I was going to buy the whole set again for my daughter for a Christmas present and I decided to go with another brand instead because um, I think when I added all up because I was looking to buy larger sizes it was something like £150 for about six products of decent sizes and I was like I'm not paying that I, I can't I just couldn't I couldn't do it so um yeah great products but it's too expensive so chances of me buying the curl power again admittedly it's very slim i probably won't buy it again i would definitely buy the glory conditioner again and i would definitely buy the um avocado soap because i really like those two products i might consider buying the super milk because the super milk is really good i've got a problem with their nozzle but i'd sort of um I'd, I'd pour it into another container which sprays better for me um, but those are the only three products I would consider buying again um, this it's good but it's not better than any other sort of curling styling product out there so good product but I was glad that I received it to try it out but I probably wouldn't buy it again right next is um, a brand called Decalio I don't think this is a brand I talk about um, on my channel a lot it's actually Decalio is one of those OG beauty skincare brands from way back when I mean you know it's old because it's featured on QVC a lot and this is where I probably bought it from actually no I know I bought it from there QVC quite often they do collections today special values where you can get the products at a much reduced price from the full size um full size product so i think that particular year and i'm say that year because i'm pretty certain it wasn't in 2020 i purchased it probably in 2019 i think i bought two collections and the collections consist um, consisted of shower gels skincare there face oil this body lotion quite a few things and I think I bought two of them two of two of the collections I really like I can never say it's called aroma comfort system course it's a body milk really like it it's a really nice moisturizing light it's not a heavy heavy moisturizer it's a light moisturizer 
um, for the whole body but it does moisturize the whole skin without leaving the skin feeling greasy I mean I know it's good because my back I've mentioned this before my back is extremely dry as in it can feel tight and dry in that kind of dry and I could put this on my back and it, it works wonderfully so this is a really good product I've got one more of these um, it costs a bit I'll try and put the price of the products if the products are still available on the screen but this is a really nice product but again it's one of those things where I wouldn't buy it individually if it's available in an offer on TSV on, on QVC that's when you get it because individually the price the products are again very expensive and I don't buy anything unless I can get it on offer but it's a really good product and again as I said I would buy it again as a body moisturizer <clears throat> all right cracking on this is something I got in one of my beauty box subscriptions go and buy the size it's from Urban Vader and it's a daily purifying facial wash and it was pore refining mattifying for oil prone skin so I was quite keen to try this because I have got very very oily skin very oily skin um, I'm 52 years old um, I have tried everything but my face my, my facial skin is very very oily when I say oily I mean proper not combination I mean oily so I do tend to hydrate my skin at night so I use lots of sort of various moisturizers and masks and all sorts of things at night time and at daytime I tend to keep my moisturizing products quite light so I will use a toner I'll use a light moisturizer um, I'll use a serum that's about it really um, in the daytime so I, I do try to look after my skin as much as I possibly can and I think I do a good job it's just that I've got very oily skin the advantages of having oily skin I have no wrinkles 52 no wrinkles I can't argue but yeah you will see me watching this video you'll see my face start to get oily pretty soon I've got lots of lights on going so you will see the oil come through this um, purifying wash was actually really good I really liked it it was um, I tend to use gel cleansers on my face as much as I possibly can um, again because they're good for oily skin so things that claim to be purifying this was actually really nice it cleansed my skin one time no problems um, I didn't leave it feeling extra dry and squeaky it just cleansed my skin really well so it was a sort of product I used in the morning to, to wash my face after the night fine I liked it um, probably wouldn't go out and buy it because I received so many products in my beauty box subscriptions I don't need to buy any cleansers but if you have got oily skin and you come across this and you want to look for a decent cleanser this one was actually pretty good I, I, I liked it so it's one I would recommend if you've got um, I would recommend this if you've got combination to oily skin so that was good right next shower gels in my trash you tend to see quite a lot of a, um, a few products so you'll see a few hair products um, you'll see a, quite a few face masks and you'll see quite a few shower products in my trash it's just how it is right there's a household um, so my immediate family my daughter and my husband but my sister and my niece they're here quite a lot as well so they get to use my products as well so you know things like shower gels and hair products gonna get used a lot so here we've got a shower gel here we've got a shower gel from Corez and it is in the fragrance I cannot remember what's the name of this fragrance it was bergamot pear I actually really like the shower gels from um, Corez I think they're really really nice I think some people have got issues with Corez as a brand I'm not quite sure why um, I think it's people who have worked with them sort of on PR and sponsorships and they haven't been treated very well or equally to other people I think that's what it is but as a brand and their products I, I like their I like their skincare really like their body lotions and I really like their shower gels so when I see their shower gels on offer I tend to always pick them up and again QVC is a place I do tend to buy a lot of these products from don't think I've got this one from QVC something is telling me I've got this one in one of my beauty boxes one of my American beauty boxes I want to say not sure which one but I think that's where I got it from but I do like them nice sizable amount 250 mils and they last a long time they smell nice not really drying on the skin good like it please with skin I'm happy right okay this is a product I've had knocking around for a long time I've got to be careful here this <clears throat> excuse me 
this is a highlighter I got I think I got this from Ipsy Glam Bag Plus maybe at the beginning of 2020 maybe end of 2019 I actually cannot remember but it was a highlighter I really 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 wanted but when it arrived it was absolutely smashed um, so if you want to know how I get hold of American Beauty boxes I've got a whole video on that and I do mention it when I do my unboxings of American boxes which I did one recently I explain how I get my American Beauty boxes but this I'm pretty certain was in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus really really liked it um, when I contacted Ipsy to say look mine's arrived really smashed they said okay they haven't got any more and they'll they'll rectify the situation um, and they sent me what did they send me they sent me a stick or a cream highlighter and I don't like cream highlighters I like my high highlighters to be powders because again oily skin so it was such a shame because the colour was beautiful I did try to put it all together again with the whole alcohol thing but I gave up I was making way too much mess so in the trash it went which is a shame because the colour was beautiful really sort of like a rosy gold color but quite dark really nice on my skin tone it's a shame but never mind here we've got a hand cream this i definitely got from one of the british beauty boxes i want to say i got this from birch box because it's that kind of size and the brand anatomicals is something birch box do give us really nice hand cream i like the brand anatomicals because they're cheap they're really really cheap and the products are great nice shower gels nice hand cream so this is the hand cream i've been keeping on my little beauty desk here um and it's been great but it's finished now so there you go in and rubbish it goes right next this is a hair product so i did say there was going to be a lot of hair products so this is from sheer moisture and this is the manuka honey and uh what's that saying mufara oil don't know um intensive hydration hair mask so there we go I bought this and the shampoo and I think I bought the two of them from Look Fantastic because Look Fantastic do sell um, sheer moisture products. So sheer moisture used to be a black owned brand, got taken over by big corporations. They're not the same as they were before. They were very much originally a brand that catered for black hair, um, but they've now widened their, their market so they deal with all hair types. So for women who have got um, Afro natural hair, so type three, type four hair, you do need to really look carefully at what the product is that you're, um, you're picking up from them because some of the products are not going to be don't assume that all the products from Sheer Moisture are going to be suitable for our hair type because some of the products they've changed the formula and they're very very light but this one this um, intensive hydration hair mask which is the Manuka and Honey one this brand is really good for our type 3 type 4 very hydrating great deep conditioner detangles gives slips moisturizes your hair it's a good product and the shampoo is great as well I probably wouldn't buy the shampoo again but I would buy the um, deep conditioner again if I needed to buy a deep conditioner but again don't need, normally need to because I've normally got lots of things in stock in my house already right so I'm setting a good pace here I think right here I've got a shower gel from Rituals Rituals is another brand which I really like I love their shower gels absolutely love their shower gels the body lotions are all right they're okay um, the candles are really nice really like their candles but for me it's all about their shower gels their shower foams and this is one of my favorite fragrances from them and it's the Rituals Asakura which is like a cherry blossom one love this one really really nice so it comes out as a foam it's very rich it's creamy smells gorgeous it's a really lovely light scent and it lasts as well so it's just you know you have to have to shower in the morning using this and you come out and you feel good you feel nice so there you go what's this right this is another shower gel I think I just picked this up in Superdrug one day when I was there when the shops were open before we had lockdown again um, so this is just one of those shower gels it's like if I'm running out of shower gels because believe it or not I run out of shower gels I tend to pick up the imperial leather ones now or what's the other one which I pick up I can't remember there's another brand I pick up there's this or this other brand um, pick these up because they really they smell nice and everybody likes them in my house again nice fragrance it's not too drying and they're cheap and affordable so that's that one and this one was Polynesi in Paradise and Sweet Peony so again it was just a filler product I bought as a backup in my house in case for some reason I ran, I ran out of shower gels and I didn't spot in the family bathroom that they've run out 
right a uh, face mask so this is a face mask uh, it was a box of face masks which i've got in i got from box charm i want to say it was either box charm premium or boxy lux box so with boxy with boxy charm they tend to give you full boxes of products you're not just going to get one sheet mask you'll get the whole load and with one one skin this brand i think the five sheet masks you get in the box costs about 85, 86 pounds in the UK. It costs a hell of a lot of money, over a hundred dollars in the States. And we got five of these. Um, I really like these masks. Again, there's been questions asked about the quality and the value of the products because it's such an expensive brand. But again, this is one of those brands where I think the quality, not all the ingredients are as effective as they claim if you really look down into the details of the ingredients and the order that they put them in but the overall effect and how I enjoy it I love them I love how it feels on my face I think I think all of the masks I've tried from one one skin have left my face doing what it says so either hydrated bright lifted clear I like them so again it's not a brand I would actually go out to the shops and buy because I ain't paying 86 pounds for, for nothing <laughs> for absolutely nothing but I'm more than happy to receive it in a box <laughs> in a subscription box so I've got five of these I do put a packet in a giveaway box but yeah I love this one and this one was a rose gold brightening facial treatment mask really really enjoy this so that's good here um this is from style pro easy on the eye hydrating gel cleanser and cloth now this i got in a subscription box and i don't know if it was a uk box or an american box um it was my intention to use it but again i didn't get around to using it and in the end i gave it to my daughter so my daughter has um typical sort of young woman teenager you know sort of the skin sometimes get a breakout in a spot um she hasn't got oily oily skin but she you knows she might break out in the pimples usually at that time of the month um and you know sometimes the skin might be a bit oily might be might get a few blackheads all that kind of thing but i'd say on the whole my daughter's skin is normal combination that's what i was saying and one of the skincare products that i've always used on her from when she was young um i used to use the liz earl Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. But that product's expensive. So again, it's one of those products where I used to buy it on collections from QVC. Then Superdrug came out with their version of the Cleanse and Polish, which was just as good, but it's like £10, £12 cheaper than that. Because I think the Cleanse and Polish 200 mils is about £26. And I think the Superdrug one was about £10, £12. So it's a lot cheaper. This came in a beauty box. I'm pretty certain it was a UK beauty box, but I don't want to swear by that. And it was a cleansing, um, a cleansing cream like the Liz Earl style. And it came with a cloth. Have I got the container in here? No, I haven't. Um, and it came with a cloth as well, so you, you might be able to see it there. And my daughter swears, she says this is just as good as the Liz Earl. So, it's by Style Pro. So Style Pro are those people who came out originally with that cleansing bowl for your brushes. So it was like a bowl and you had this sort of stick implement and you could attach your, your brushes to the little implements and you visit it around in your brush and it will clean your brush and then you can lift it out and it will dry your brush instantly. So, so they were the, like, the original people who came out with that brand. So they came out with this as well. And my daughter says this, was, this has been really, really good. I haven't seen it sold anywhere else. If I had, I probably would pick it up again. But I haven't seen it anywhere else. And again, it's one of those things where I get a lot of cleansing products. So when I get something which is suitable for a skin type, I'll just pass it on to my daughter. Next... Right, this is more from that Lush. So in that PR box I got from Lush, this was power. This was the, the conditioner um, power. And this was for people who had type 3, type 2 hair. Or I would say people who didn't need so much moisturising and detangling. Maybe their hair's relaxed. Uh, maybe their hair, they've got much looser curls. So this was the lighter deep conditioner. So my daughter used this and she said it was really nice as well. So she enjoyed using this. Um, and me and Kayla were more likely to use the glory 
but she said this was very good as well and this was one of the things i was going to buy for her so i was going to buy that the soap the, i was actually going to buy the whole collection but as i said the price just put me off there were three sizes and they were just really expensive and i think this size which is 215 grams was like 18 pounds or it could have been more it was a lot and i just thought no 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 as good as it is just no i just the price i'm I'm just tight. <laughs> I like to I like to get value for my money. You know, what I mean, I'm not one of those people who can just go in and just spend just because I've got the money. I do like to feel like I'm getting value. Next, oh, this is one of my favourite hair brands. This is from Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream. I really like Amica products. It's not a brand you see that often. Where I tend to see it is on the Birchbox website, and it was Birchbox that introduced me to this brand first of all. So Birchbox UK Beauty Box tend to give you samples, sort of five to six samples. Cost ten pounds. Actually, it's gone up now. Twelve pound ninety five. I know, £12.95 for a box of samples. Yeah, I've got to really think about my subscription there. Um, but they're really good at introducing you to new brands, which the other boxes don't do. And Amika was one of the brands. I got this moisture and shine cream. I believe I got this actually from Fab Fit Fun. It was one of my choices or my add-ons. Great, great product. Absolutely great. I thought a curl cream this would be the one I would get but I haven't been able to find it I think they had it on the Birch Box website and when I went to buy it they'd sold out or it just wasn't available but I haven't seen it anywhere else to buy but it's a fantastic curl cream moisture cream smells gorgeous really good just not so easily available here in the UK but it might have changed I need to look again to see if it is still if it's the same situation with availability right what's this ah I was doing a bit of a declutter um, before Christmas because um, I've got so much stuff and I was sort of thinking there's things I just need to throw away now. I really do because I'm, I'm not using it. Um, I've had them sitting there and they're just not getting used. This is one of the products I, two years ago, maybe even three years ago, I bought a range of products from Nip and Fab makeup products and this was a blush contour sort of thing face powder sort of thing i haven't used it um i think i've used it once or twice and i haven't really gone to, gone on to use it again it's called the contour palette um and it was in shade dark zero three dark I haven't really used it it's just been sitting there gathering dust so so i just decided you know what let's throw it away i'm not using it it's just taking up space which uh, it's just it's literally just gathering dust so i just said right let's throw this away which is a shame because that's a nice color for blush would have been a nice face powder but i've got nice stuff already and it's, a, it's just not something i reach for if i'm not using it i just need to get rid of it and it's not a case of that it's lightly used so i could give it away or sell it it's a product that's been around for a few years throw it away right <clears throat> what's this this is um, from Afrocentrics. So this is a brand that is a black owned brand. It's two women um, in the UK that have created a hair brand of products. Um, again, quite an expensive brand. I mean, I, I talk about the Lush brand being really expensive. This brand is up there as well. But at least with this, I know that it's been created by these two women who have got together and created a whole they do a collection of wash day and you kind of determine what you get in your collection by your hair type um so this was the sulfate free shampoo and i got this in a subscription box so i got this and i think i've got a conditioner and a hair cream all right it's okay i mean it's sulfate free so you're not going to get much lava but to be honest, I like a bit of a love. When I'm washing my hair, I want my hair to feel like it's clean. And I don't feel satisfied until I, f I see lather. I know that's not the way I should be thinking, but I like to feel lather in my hair. I like my hair to feel clean. I wasn't getting it with this product. So yeah, it's not one I would go back and buy again and I wouldn't recommend it. It's not something I would purchase for anybody else because it's not something I would use myself. But I'm sure lots of people really, really like it. And again, if you want to support black owned beauty brands, these, these two ladies, Afrocentrics, are brands to support. They've got their own website, so you know you can have a look and see what their collections are like. They are price um, they are pricey, but the collections are homemade, UK made and 
products are determined by your hair needs so you know you're going to get something that's going to work for your hair type but not for me really no not for me so that goes there right, i've got some smaller things here right so these are products which i've probably picked up and haven't used what's this this is an la girl endless semi-permanent auto lip liner i mean look at it it's still got the sticker on it and i haven't even used it look at that oh well but it's falling out so i can't even pass it on but it's that color it's not a color i would use anyway when did i get this i don't know when i got it but it's a lip liner la girl it's a fairly cheap affordable brand but it wasn't a color for me as you can see label still on it haven't used it rubbish this was one of those i got from one of the uk boxes look fantastic or glossy box i want to say um and it's from dirty little secrets which is owned by that woman if you watch my channel you know who i'm talking about um it's, it's a woman who owns uh, quite a few brands and she private labels them and she gets the products really really cheap um cheaply made puts a label on them they're made in china very 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 cheap quality products and then she sells them at very inflated prices and she's got several brands dls dirty little secrets is one of them this was like an eye stick probably got it in glossy box or look fantastic colour that we get a lot that kind of goldy pewter colour not very exciting yeah. <laughs> yeah this is gross but this was the eye gel I was using before I started getting some other ones in my beauty boxes but this was my eyebrow gel I used to always use it was my go-to my ride or die as they say it's from Pixie it's their um, Pixie by Petra and they call it a brow tamer you can get it in Marks and Spencers. It costs about £10, £12. Great brow gel. You can see I've changed the colour because obviously the brown products I use are going to be dark brown in colour. But yeah, great product. Great product. And honestly, this is the brand I was using before I started going on to the other brands which I now get in my beauty boxes. Great brow gel. Really, really like it. It lasts but it's not stiff and it holds your brows in place. Especially when you've got really thin brows like me. I've hardly got any brows at all. So I don't exaggerate and give myself some big old caterpillars on my brows. But I do try to give myself a look like I have got some brows and then try and tame it down. Try to make it look realistic for my age and my size and everything else. You know what I mean. This is a lipstick colour. This is from a brand you don't really hear much about now. I don't even know if they still exist to be honest. And this is Black Up. So it was a brand that was... Sorry my nails are such a mess aren't they? Um, this was a brand that was quite prominent two years ago, three years ago. And I literally bought the whole collection. I bought all the foundations, two, three shades, foundation creams, foundation sticks, their CC creams. I bought their lip liners, their lipsticks, their brow products, their eyes. I bought everything in a range because again, just really want to support a black owned brand. But again, I think they were French. And again, I think this brand was taken over by another of the big brands and it's just kind of died a death, basically. This is what happens to a lot of um, small, independent, black owned brands. They get taken over by the big corporations and they kill the brand. So I don't know if it's a deliberate move or what. I mean, they weren't the most affordable of brands, but the products were nice. Some of their products were really, really nice and their lip pencils are really light. So you had a sharpener in them yeah you see the sharpener and then you had the lip colour uh, i mean i don't know where i was going with that colour but obviously i did wear it at one point it's like a deep pinky raspberry colour just really nice products but it's not a colour that i'm wearing so it's just sitting there not used again it's been sitting there for about two years got rid <clears throat> more makeup products so here's another one from black up another color that i don't really wear and again this is just changing tastes in my colors which i like to wear now so same thing that's the color yeah that's the color there nice color creamy lip colors they're nice but just not for me anymore this is another i think this is a lip scrub from wonder two i think it's a lip scrub yeah it was a lip scrub so you could get lip scrubs in little little tins and things now which is where we tend to find them 
that's the form formula that's the format we get sort of lip scrubs in most often now in beauty boxes but we were getting them in stick forms like this so it'll be a stick with a sugar thing and then you could just put it on your lips scrub your lips and you can put your lipstick on so this is one i got from one to two again from a beauty box i would say go and buy go and buy the style i'd say it's from one of the british um beauty box subscriptions because i think this is quite a cheaper brand so i think that's where i've got this from i don't use it i've got loads of lip scrubs you know i've got decent lip scrubs and i've got one here which i use sometimes and that's from milk and this is a good one it's a really good one um this wasn't very good so didn't get used this um i bought from revitalash now revitalash i got this from qvc um who are revitalash so revitalash are one of the original companies that came out with serums um that you could use on your eyelashes to make your eyelashes grow um and i remember buying the collection from qvc and it included the mascara which i didn't think much of the mascara um and it cost a bit and i know i got it on easy payments probably three payments or four payments it wasn't cheap really isn't but the product worked it really did work on your eyelashes but it's one of those products you have to keep on using to make your eyelashes grow and once you stop using it your eyelashes stop getting really really long and that's it and that's why i really stopped using it whilst i was using it i think i did two lots of the tubes off the the Revital Lash Serum. I think I did two lots and my eyelashes were great, looked fantastic, but I was like, I can't keep this going all the time. It's just ridiculous. Just put mascara on, you know, or just accept that I haven't got long eyelashes. Um, and this mascara wasn't anything special, but it came in the collection as well. So yeah, you're supposed to throw your mascaras away after three months anyway. So, and that's been around for a long time. Right another one of the black up lipsticks i think oh well maybe not no i don't know what brand this lipstick is but no idea but it's that color so that's the color there it's not, it's not a bad color but yeah it's been around a long time so yeah throw it away lots of makeup oh this is a perfume All right so this is a perfume i got in a Boxy Charm, I believe, um, and it is an English laundry um, perfume. I really love the fragrance of this, really, really nice. And it just kind of sent me back to a time when I used to subscribe to Pink Parcel when they existed before they all started going wrong. Pink Parcel used to always give us these handbag purse style perfumes every spring, summer, and they were really nice fragrances. Um, yeah, and yeah, English Launch is one of the companies that they would have used. Really nice fragrance, loved it, really, really liked it. But yeah, it's finished now. Um, did you do this? Is from God, oh, can't even see it. This looks like it's Smashbox, maybe. I think that says Smashbox and it's a lip liner. So I, I went through a phase when I was experimenting with lip liners, trying to try to um, steer away from the chocolate lip liners. Um, but yeah, it just don't work. I always end up going back to my chocolate lip liners. I use two lip liners. I use the one from Revol uh, Revol what's it called? Revolution Beauty. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Revolution Beauty, the Glory. And I use MAC. Yeah, and yeah, those are the two two lip liners I use. Chocolate lip liner, that's it for me all the way. I don't know why I bother to try and use other colours. I'm still trying to find a red lip liner which will work for me, but I know I'll just go back to use my chocolate. This is oh, this I've actually finished. This was Sex Kitten Eyeliner from Tarte. I got this, I think I might have either got this in a beauty box, one of my American beauty box subscriptions, or I got this in the collection I get from Tarte. Tarte twice a year do this thing where you can buy seven products for, in the UK, £56. So you can pick seven products. So it's usually, um, they usually say so you pick a bag, then you'll pick a, I don't know, a lipstick, an eyeliner or a mascara, you'll pick a, a, a foundation. I don't know, and a brow product or something like that, but it's seven products you get to pick and it all cost you £56. So they do that twice a year. So it's usually October is one time and another time sort of earlier in the year, maybe May, June, something like that. So I either got this during one of those collections or I got this in a beauty box subscription, uh, one of the American ones. And this is one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. 
um, actually Tarte do great mascaras and they do great eyeliners their products are actually really really good when they get the shades right their products are decent quality they just tend to screw themselves over sometimes but this is a really nice one sex kitten really like it and you can see it's got a cute little cat at the top so yeah used it up dried it out all gone right what's here another hair conditioner from As I Am. This is another brand I really wanted to try out because I was hearing lots and lots of things about them. Really wanted to try them out. So this is their Coconut Co-Wash. Yeah, it's nice. It's all right. Um, it's all right. It's a, it's a good co-wash. I just tried it out. It's fine. It, it does what it says on a tin. It's all good. Would I buy it again? If I had to, I would. But again, I don't need to because, as I said, I receive lots of products. But then saying that, though, the way how some of my black subscription boxes are sort of disappearing off the scene. Don't know. Don't know. But we will see. Right. Here we have got a molten brown um, shower, a bath and shower. This was in Cypress. I think I'm going by the size. This size is quite large. I don't know if this is one I actually got in a glossy box or look fantastic. This is quite a large one. So I think I might have gone on and purchased this one directly from Look Fantastic. And I think I did. What it was, we got in one of our glossy boxes, we got this fragrance, which was Cypress. What's it called? Cypress and Sea Fennel. We got this fragrance in one of our spring summer boxes in 2020. Really love the fragrance and I was buying a few things from Look Fantastic and I went on and bought the full size which is 300 ml. It's a lovely fragrance. Let me smell it. Yeah, it's, it's just ocean, summer. It's almost male so men would be quite happy in wearing it. It's just a fresh good smell. Ocean breeze. I love it. Really nice fragrance and it's a fragrance I would definitely buying again no questions asked now come spring summer i'll be buying that one again this is another shower gel um, from corez and it's the same fragrance bergamot pear so i obviously bought them in pairs you get any idea lots of shower gels lots of hair products i haven't done that many face masks yet so they're in here they're in here right we have here another eyeliner and this one is from black up so i was obviously doing a clear up of my black up makeup so this is just an eyeliner waterproof smoky eyeliner from black up so yeah just throwing that away um, this was a right this is a setting spray so you know mac do their setting sprays they're quite famous for their setting sprays this is a mac prep and prime fix it in matte and i purchased this as a setting spray, I really like it. I just didn't like the dispensing mechanism. Every time I sprayed it, it just kind of came out in large droplets. So I had large white droplets on my face. Uh, it didn't come out as a nice fine mist, so that wasn't good. Um, if this came in the sort of canister like the Morphe, I can't stand Morphe, but if it came out like the Morphe um, continuing setting spray, perfect but this came out it just came out in droplets so i did use it up as much as i could but yeah i gave up on that but good product if yours comes out if it sprays out nicely unlike this one did for me right <laughs> obviously remnants of a liz Earl cleansing spray no this is a, a, a liz Earl skin repair moisturizer normal combinations obviously my daughter's she cut into it and used it out so the other half is in the bag somewhere but yeah liz Earl skin products my daughter really got on with it didn't no just gentle worked for her skin no reactions did everything her skin throughout her teenage years she's had really really good skin no problems at all and i really put it down to just the fact that i was consistent in purchasing her the liz Earl range for the normal combination skin this is another body wash shower gel from Soup Duper. Is that right? Soap Duper. I always get it wrong. And this is their body wash, creamy deluxe sheer butter. Got this from, I don't know, it would have been any of the beauty boxes. So it could have been Birch Box. It could have been a Latest in Beauty when I picked up a Latest in Beauty. I should talk about Latest and Beauty. So Latest and Beauty, they've changed now. So what they used to be, you could get three items, six items or nine items at different prices. So three items used to be nine pounds, six items, 15 pounds, um, and nine items was 18 pounds. I used to always get the six items. 
Um, but I stopped getting the box regularly monthly because I was finding it increasingly difficult to buy six products, find six products that would work for me or things that I would need. Again, considering the amount of subscription boxes I subscribe to, I, I was just finding it difficult to find products that I wanted. Um, but they have changed their format now. So I think how it is now, but correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm sure you will, they do six products now for a fixed price. I can't remember what the fixed price is, but you do six products now. I still check in occasionally just to see what they've got. Um, and one of the things they do, they do keep their past part of the month. They still keep those available. Um, but I haven't just seen enough just to get six products. So I think what will probably happen, it will get to a point where I can find six past products, product of the month say that again i'll get to the point where i will find six past product of the month so i think right yeah i'll get those and then i'll i'll get a box but it's not something that i'm going to regularly subscribe to every month it's something that i check every month to see what they've got and most of the time it's like mm, not for me not for my skin type not for my hair type you know because they'll have things like blonde shampoo i don't know some light pink lipstick or no it's just things that aren't for me some tanning products I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that at all. Right, I'm actually getting through this bag quicker than I thought, she says. And what have we got here? Okay, so this is from Umberto Giannini Coily Curls and Moisture Champagne Shampoo. Sulfate free, Sulfate 3 Curl Shampoo. This I've got in one of the subscription boxes, which I no longer subscribe to. But this range, Umberto Giannini this pink range is actually really good um, it's sulfate free but it does lather up it smells nice and it's really nice and again my daughter's got she's got 3b 3c hair so that is more loose curls long hair thick um, and you know just, yeah, just loose curls coming down whereas I've got dense coily hair my daughter's hair is because she's mixed I'm black my husband's white so her hair is a mixture so she's got long thick curly hair and she really enjoyed this range of shampoos. She really, really, really enjoyed it. So again, if it's very unlikely that I will pick this range up again in a beauty box subscription because it's not black owned. Um, and yeah, it's just not black owned. And the hair boxes I get now tend to be black owned. So it's not a brand that will be picked up. But if you are looking for a product for someone who has got curly hair, and it doesn't matter if they're black, mixed race, white, whatever, this this range will be good so if you use curly girl method all that sort of thing this is a good range of products to use there are a couple of subscription boxes that will probably repeat these products in there um treasure tress and what's the other box called again was it called curly curl box curly box two uk hair subscription boxes that are more general um sort of more mass market brands rather than sort of black owned unique indie brands but yeah these these kind of products will appear in those boxes but i think you can find it in the supermarket not supermarkets maybe places like boots and Superdrug when they reopen again i think they sell these again don't quote me on that but nice brand accessible available decent price as well this is an eyeliner um actually nothing wrong with this eyeliner but it's just something i've had knocking about for a really long time and i haven't used it's a natural and organic eyeliner from a brand pmb i can't read it it's too small i've got my contact lenses on i think it says pmb it's it's a kind of product where i might have got this from um when i used to do a box called love lula which is very much a vegan vegan box um natural box um yeah just just a really nice box i used to subscribe to them a lot but i don't anymore because again i don't always receive products that are suitable for me but this is a product that was very much in theme with the box natural product natural organic product eyeliner more than you need a sharpener to do it nothing wrong with it it's just that i've had it for a long time and i think the color was a dark brown whereas i'd want a a black so fine because i haven't got a problem with pencil eyeliners i just want it to be colors that will show up on my skin and i don't think this one was adequate enough so in the rubbish it went right okay 
Right, okay. This is a brand I have spoken about the other half of this, which is the toner. This is the cleanser from a brand called Flush Cosmetics. I got this in one of my beauty boxes, um, my black owned beauty boxes. This was either Queen Box, I want to say it was a Queen Box, but it could have been AKA Beauty. It's one of those two boxes. In that box, whichever box it was, we got a toner and a cleanser. This was the cleanser, it was a cream cleanser bloody brilliant really really good um affordable price it's an air pump so basically as you use it the product rises until it goes and as you can see i used it all the toner was fantastic but i used the toner up far too quickly uh and the cleanser has, has gone as well but really really good product yeah they were those were sort of a couple of my star products from sort of the black home beauty boxes really good products really like those this is Right, this came from one of the beauty boxes again. Um, it was either AKA Beauty or Queen Box. I'm going to be saying either AKA Beauty or Queen Box because I can never remember. I can never remember which box it came from because both boxes are very similar. Black owned beauty boxes. They cost sort of twenty pounds, twenty five pounds. Um, so this is from Kia. This is a brand um, very active on social media. I'm often getting um, emails from them, sort of talking about their products. This is a citrus whip, whipped sheer butter for hair and body. Again, really great, um, really great sheer butter. Price, again, I talked about a Primal Beauty one. I think that was a difference. I did, with this, I did go on and buy some more from this brand. And I think this is the brand where, when I ordered it, they used, um, in the fragrance I chose i can't remember what the fragrance was but they obviously had this product in there called neem oil neem oil is a really good product for skin and hair but it has got the strongest smell on the planet i actually find the smell quite offensive not everybody does but for me i just find it oh really horrible and when i got the um sheer butter i opened it and i was like whoa so i wrote back gave a review about the product and i just basically said oh um i did find the neem oil a little bit overpowering in the fragrance because i think it was a citrus i think it was supposed to be citrus and all i could smell was the neem oil and you know what the brand did they sent me another tub and she just said oh, uh, um, i hope you find this one more satisfactory there's less neem oil in it how cool is that? How, how cool is that? So really independent brand based in London, I want to say. Um, great product. A little bit more pricey because I'm, I'm always going to compare things to Primal Beauty. But nice range of products again. So if you're looking for natural products, this is all good. Yeah, make sure you've got that name there. All good. Right, this is... This is something I purchased. I don't know why I purchased it. I was buying some products from um, Covergirl Queen because they stop Covergirl stopped the 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 sub brand of the Queen products, which were sort of the the black the black toned black skinned products for you no know, for black people, and they they were they were stopping it. So I bought this and I bought another one of the bronzer before they got rid of it completely because they've they've replaced the the cover girl queen with a new brand of products and apparently the new bronzer they've got in that brand is nowhere near as good as the original bronzer which we all absolutely loved i think i've got it here yeah i have i mean i still use it you can tell how old it is so this is the original bronzer which everybody loved and it was called oh, what was it called ebony bronze yeah, zero Q120 Ebony Bronze. This was the bronzer that every black woman absolutely loved. It was just a perfect colour. You can see how old and knackered it is. Still use it. So when I was buying that, I bought this as well, this lip colour, because I thought it would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it and I haven't worn it since. So this has been around for a couple of years, so let's throw that away. Again, part of my decluttering, get rid of things I'm not using. Um, another hand cream so this is a hand cream that came in one of my American Beauty boxes I think this one might have come in a Fab Fit Fun before Fab Fit Fun um, started shipping to the UK so this is one of my older ones it's a, just a nice hand cream really liked it all good smelt well 
use it all up it says it all really doesn't it that's good this is a product which i first got from birchbox so i talk about birchbox a lot because they're a british uh, subscription box they were charging £10 a box, but all you were getting was samples. And when you think about other beauty boxes we have, like Glossy Box and Rocker Box, that's charged £10 plus postage. And you'll get larger or full-size items in there. Birchbox only gives um, sample sizes in there. And occasionally you might get a full-size, I don't know, eye brush or something. But what I liked about Birchbox was the fact that the products they had in there were unique they weren't the same old products we see over and over and over again every six months every year they come around again they've always got they introduce us to new products on the market and, and that's what i really like about birch box so i'm a bit upset that they've put their price up but anyway so this product was something that i got in a birch box oh a couple of years ago i think and i went on and purchased it again from birch box so this is another brow gel because I do like my brow gels because again thin brow gels I've got thin brows and using a pencil can look really really fake so I'll use a bit of a pencil and I'll use a coloured brow gel to use and this one was really nice it's from the brand Butonique I think it is I can't see but I think it's Butonique's Butonique and it's called Fill and Tame and it's just a really nice one um, they do sell these on Birchbox, but great. So I've got, got one in a Birchbox full size and I went on and bought again a second one again to use. Just really, really nice brow gels because these are what I use. I, I go through quite a few of these. I probably go through two or three of those in a year. Right, what's this? Um, oh, definitely got this in either an, I reckon I've got this in an Ipsy because um, it's a sample and it's from Brio Gio, Be Gentle, Be Kind. And it's one of their new um, conditioners, which is like a strengthening conditioner, um, hair conditioner, I should say. Strengthening and shine. Beautiful product. Really, really, really nice. Um, it is sold in the UK now. When I first got this from Ipsy, it wasn't available in the UK yet. Really nice. And Briogeo, I don't know how I'm pronouncing it, so I'm calling it everything. Briogeo, Brigio, whatever. Um, black owned brand again. You can find it in places like Cult Booty. Cult Booty. Cult Beauty, I think. I think Look Fantastic might sell them. You can find this brand on, on online. But this is like the next range they have. Really nice products. Good products for our hair. And they're, and they're available. I think Look Fantastic sell them. But yeah, really nice. I've received a couple of these as samples. And they've gone down very quickly in my household. It's again. This is a liquid eyeshadow in that typical sort of bronzy gold colours, which we, they always give us their eyeshadows in these colours. And um, this is from Manukadar, which is an okay brand, a very much a favourite of beaut of British beauty boxes. Um, just a typical eyeshadow, but I don't really like these style. This was a roll-on one, even worse, as far as I'm concerned. And that's what the colour looks like. Yeah. Not for me, that's too garish for me, don't like that. I mean, obviously you can smudge it out, but I've got so many goldy, bronzy eyeshadows. Wasn't using it. I think I used it a couple of times and that was it. So throw it away, because I know I'm not going to use it again. Nothing wrong with the product, it does, does what it, you know, it does what it says, it's just that I don't need it, because I've got so many products in those sort of shades in, in, in a format which I prefer to use, which is usually for me, powder. Right, we've got a lipstick here. Oh, why have I thrown this one away? So this is a lipstick from... I don't know. I don't know what the brand is here, but it's a lipstick. Not sure. Probably got it in a beauty box. Not sure why I've thrown this away. What's the colour like? Probably just been around a long time. Um, I'll do it. Oh dear. I'll do it here. Oh yeah, that's why I don't want it. It's the formula. It's a sort of creamy formula that dries down, really drying on my on my lips. That's why I'm throwing this away. Nice colour, just the formula's not nice. Yeah, I knew that to be a reason because I was thinking that colour was actually all right. But yeah, it's the formula. This is oh, I got this in a beauty box, so it's like a deluxe sample, and it's an Argan Care Natural Hair Care Castor Oil Conditioner for all hair types. I can't remember which brand 
which box I've got this in. Obviously I've got it in a beauty box, but it's obviously fine. I'm not sure if I use this or my daughter used it, but I haven't heard anything negative about it, so it must have done its job and it's just finished. So there you go. Do you remember when we were getting these all the time in beauty boxes, what, a couple of years ago? So it's from Skin Chemist and it's the Lip Plumper Rose, yeah, it was just a rose lip plumper thing. And at one point they were claiming that the price was something like, I don't know, £80, £90, something stupid like that. But then we started to see more realistic prices like £10, £12 for it. Um, I think I was getting them and I was giving them out. I was either putting them in beauty boxes or selling them or just giving them to my friends or whatever because I don't really need these products. It's one of those products where you put it on your lips and it tingles and it's supposed to make the blood flow to your lips and make your lips plump up. For me, I nah, don't need anything like that, but yeah, they, these were quite popular in beauty boxes for a while, I, I remember that. Ah, memories. Then we've got a conditioner, hair conditioner. This I got in a boxy charm, um, and it's from Nelson Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask. I think I've got this in a boxy lux, I want to say, I'm not sure. Nice, nice hair masks, really, really good, very... um. It, they, they claim that it detangles and controls um, it detangles and it controls frizz prevents hair color from fading um, it seals split ends protects from chlorine and salt water restores silkiness and shine enhances natural um, natural body and it's a coconut scent yeah I don't know about all of that but I know that when I used it my hair felt really lovely I could get my fingers through my hair no problems there was no knots it detangled great conditioner I yeah, really enjoyed using that one. Not a brand that was available in the UK, I believe, but it was a nice brand. And I think quite a few of the American reviewers really, really liked using it. Uh, see what I mean about my face getting all shiny. What do you think about me wearing false eyelashes? Can you see? See, I've made an effort. I've put false eyelashes on here. Tell you what I've got on. I'll just a quick little break from what we're doing. So I've got on, I've got on foundation. I have Too Faced foundation again, which is the this one, Born This Way matte in shade cocoa. So I'm wearing that. I have the Born This Way setting powder on contour. Not much contour, but the contour I'm using is the Fenty Beauty bronzer, the cream bronzer. But I use it as a contour. So it's this one because it was just too dark to use as a as a bronzer for me in chocolate. So I've got that on. The bronzer I'm using is from Benefit Toasted. That one. The lipstick. Oh, the lipstick was. Do you remember when I did my Ipsy Glam bag um, unboxing, unbagging sort of last week, and I couldn't find my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, I had it the whole time. It was underneath all my stuff on my desk. So this is the lipstick and that's the colour and that's what I've got on my lips and I really like it nice formula it's really nice yeah and I've just got um the Revolution Beauty Glory lip liner on around it blush I've got on from Moraine Butte which is a company from Sweden I believe I've got it here let's have a look yeah so this is Moraine Butte it's a blush and the colour is uh Taru is that the colour? Yeah, Tierra Rouge, I think it is. Well, that's the colour blush I've got on. Yeah, see, that's the kind of blush that I want to receive in beauty boxes, but I'm not going to receive, unfortunately. Um, what else have we got on? I have also got on. Oh, I was going to talk to you about the eyeshadow. So, the eyeshadow and the lashes are from there's a YouTuber in America called Raw, Raw Beauty Christie. I love this girl, she is just so nice, so so nice unproblematic and that's saying a big thing for american youtubers she's unproblematic she has been trying for years absolute years to have a baby and this year she found out well this year last year she found out she was pregnant with her and her husband and yeah they just had a little baby boy but one of her launches this year was um she did a, a collaboration with pure so she came out with some eyelashes so i bought two of the eyelashes where's the other one 
So I've got one on now, and here's the other one. This is like a full-on party eyelash. I'm not going anywhere to be wearing those, so that's one. And I've got one on now. So I've got these ones on now. And the eyeshadow palette, which is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I am going to do a video um, about my eyeshadow palettes. That's the plan. Can't tell you when it's happening, but I will be doing a, um, a, a, a video about my eyeshadow palette. So this is the palette from Pure Raw Beauty Christie. I had to order this. I missed out on the launch, so I had to wait till October when they did the second launch and stuff and then get it shipped over to me. And it's got two sides to it. So look, there's that side. So that's the bright, colourful side. Yep. And then... The other side is the more neutral side, and that's, this is the side I'm wearing today. Yep. So yeah, I yeah I I love Raw Beauty Christie. It's just such a lovely, lovely, lovely YouTuber. Just gentle, gentle soul, unproblematic, not in it for the money, um, genuine all the way. You know when you can tell when people are genuine or not when they're just smiles and giggling and stuff because they're getting PR whereas she just tells it as it is she, she's basically she's right down my street she's my kind of youtuber honest all the way and it's honesty that I, I look for when I watch youtubers anyway let's move on right so this is another lipstick which I oh no it's not this is a liquid eyeliner from a brand called eye art precision liquid eye color there that's the color don't think I really wore this to be honest. There you are. Um, that's the colour. See, for me, that's not doing anything because it's brown, so it's not doing anything for me. So that's why it's never it's never been used, and that's why it ended up in my trash. Honestly, if you see the pile of rubbish I've got going on here. My husband's gonna kill me when I bring all this into the kitchen. Right, this is, the <laughs> well, there's obviously a container here. Oh, here it is. Right, you know I was talking about Amika and how much I love the brand. So this was the product they had a sample of in the Birch Box, and that's the first time I came across the brand. It's this product called Soul Food. And I purchased a full size of this, plus that shine thing from, no, I purchased this from Birchbox, the full size. This stuff is great. It is just a, another hair conditioner. Really, really, really nice. And it smells, yeah, you can still smell it. It smells gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Um, Birchbox sell these, just a case of like if they have them in stock, but if you see it, you get this, you won't regret it. And that is all hair types. All hair types will really like this. Obviously, depending on how, how much you use is depending on the what effects you're gonna get, but for, Type 4 hair, you can get away with quite a lot. If you've got type 1, type 2 hair, you don't need a lot. Just concentrate on your ends, leave it in, rinse it out. Our hair, my hair type, leave it in for half an hour, an hour, overnight. Rinse it out next day, you'll be happy. This is the other half of the Umberto Giannini. This is the, uh, what's this one? This is the Moisture Recovery Curl Conditioner. Yep. So is this the, con yeah, this is the conditioner. Again, nice products, and I'm sure they sell it in Superdrugs or Boots now. I'm certain of it. Right. Let's bring this up here now. It's nearly empty. Oh, we've got a sheet mask. So we've got a sheet mask here from Celia Rebalancing Vita C Green Tangerine Mask. So this is from a brand that they sent me some uh, face masks to review and to try out. Um, they didn't actually say to review, they just sent it to me to ask me what my opinion was. But obviously I didn't get around to doing a specific video reviewing the product because obviously I need to try them all out. They sent me, they do a subscription of face masks. I think they're called Face Mask Club. I'll put the details on the screen because I always forget. And they've got two subscriptions. I think it's a seven pound and a 10 pound or a 12 pound um, subscription where you can get five masks or seven masks and you just get different types of masks. This is one of the masks I've got in my collection. Again, this is this was a really nice one actually. Um, rebalancing mask, vitamin C, fresh, nice. It was all good, really liked it. This is something I've probably got in one of my glossy box maybe. They give, as a filler product, they'll give you a product from Hask. Very common 
brand we get inside the glossy boxes and this is the argan oil hair conditioner i don't mind it i actually don't mind it i mean it is a filler product inside the boxes they only cost about three pounds in super drugs but they're a good product i don't mind them at all so that was that this was okay i got this moisturizer do you remember sort of towards the beginning of the year i did six weeks of using the ordinary skincare products so i did buy um, a couple of the ordinary natural moisturizing creams and i think i also got one in a one of my boxes it might be an asos box it might be another box but i had a couple of these i didn't actually think much of this as a moisturizer didn't really do much i had I had high regard for some of the other products in the range, like the niacinamide serum, the, even the hyaluronic acid. You know, I like those products more. I didn't really have much time for this moisturiser, so I stopped using it because I was just kind of fed up of using it. And in the rubbish it went. So I had two of those, two or three of those. I think I've still got another one upstairs somewhere. This was from Brave New Hair. This came in one of my UK subscription boxes. Um, what was it? Was it a conditioner? Yeah, it was a mask. It was a keratin mask. Not sure which box. Did it come in a rocker box? I think it might have come in a rocker box. And it was alright. It was actually alright. It smelled nice. It did the job. It got used up. Um, yeah, not much to say. It did the job. It was nice. It, was, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't rubbish. So it was okay. This... Oh wow, this came in another beauty box. I don't know how long this has been knocking about for. This is from Pry. So Pry are very much a brand that advertise for women who have got very dry skin and wrinkles. Lots of wrinkles. And this product, um, I can't remember what it's called because it's all faded. But it's very much for your neck and decollete just to prevent all those wrinkles and stuff. You know, basically when your breasts are lying, when you're lying down and you crease your breasts and you get all the wrinkles there. This is all just to, pre to prevent get forming all those lines and wrinkles on your neck and your chest. Don't know if that works, but it's very moisturising and I did enjoy using it on my neck and my booby area. Yeah, so it's all good. So it's one of those things that you can get in collections on QVC. You might get it in a subscription box, but it's a decent product. Not cheap, but it's not outrageously expensive like some brands we see. You know what I mean? Oh, this I really liked. So this I got in a Ipsy bag. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it was an Ipsy Glam bag or an Ipsy Glam bag plus. Not a brand normally sold in the UK. I have seen it on Amazon, but um, when I've looked more recently to see if it was available, it hasn't been available. But it's from Hemp's and it's a body moisturizer, triple moisture moisturizer, and it smells gorgeous and it's really moisturizing and it's not greasy. It's just I love this this is one of my favorite moisturizers i've tried this year really really liked it i just wish i had the full bottle because it's not expensive they have a full almost like 750 milliliters or maybe a liter size bottle of it really nice product smells gorgeous really good but it's just not a product that's based in the uk so not so accessible over here but great moisturizer if i saw it over here i would get it no questions asked i would just buy it Okay, this is the rest of the Estee Lauder um, skin repair moisturiser my daughter was using for normal and combination skin. A couple of eyeliners here. So we've got eyeliners which we get loads of in the beauty boxes um, in America and the UK one. So this is one from Ico. And, and I do, I use them. I do use them. I, I use them up and I throw them away afterwards. So I haven't got a problem with them. It's just that we would get, at one point we were getting so many of them and I was just you know getting through them was was a problem so you know it took, took me a year just to get through half of this stuff so this is one of them I think this is the skinny one yeah fine nice no problems with it no I haven't got a problem with the Ico eyeliners they're all really really good it's just the frequency that we get them this is another eyeliner I have no idea who it who it's by is it an eyeliner Yeah, it's an eyeliner. No idea who it's by. The markings are all gone, but it's rubbish. Got the mess behind me. Right. Um, this I got in one of the beauty boxes. I've got a feeling this might have come in my very first rocker box. And it was a Josh Wood colour. I gave this to my daughter to use because she's always colouring her hair. 
So I gave that to her, she said it was fine. I can't really comment on it because it wasn't something I used. This was um, from ZZ Flare Rescue Body Butter. I think I got this in one of my um, black owned beauty boxes this year, going by the name ZZ. I think it was all right. I don't think I was overly impressed. I think the boxes came in either, I've got a feeling it might be an AK Beauty. I don't think I was overly impressed with the box. Everything in the box I would use, I would enjoy using, but I think what it was, it was nothing that was full sized and everything was small like this and it would get used up quickly. And I think that's the problem I had with it. And the box cost 20 pounds, 25 pounds. So I was a little bit, mm, I wish it was more, just wish it was more. Nothing wrong with the products, just nothing, nothing was really exciting and nothing was full size, but this was fine. And the brand is, ZZ Flare. Would I go on a bite again? Nah, because it's a body moisturiser. I can get effective body moisturisers from in anywhere. And if I wanted to um, specifically go for black owned, you know, I can get other products cheaper. So, yeah. But it was nice to be introduced to a new brand. This was, oh, this I got in a American box. I want to say I got this in a Fab Fit Fun, possibly, or a BoxyCharm. It was a hair mask, repair treatment mask. Bloody brilliant. Honestly, some of the hair conditioning masks I get from the American Beauty Boxes are just so good. So, so good. And this was one of them. I was like, damn, if this came up again, I would definitely buy it. It's the kind of thing, if I see it in add-ons, I would pick it up and buy it. It was so good. Really, really nice. Um, right, this was, yeah, this was a, a cleansing toner. This was um, in a AK beauty box and that particular box was a Korean skincare box and it was like a seven step skincare box, Korean skincare box. Lots of small items in there and a few large items in there. And I just had no clue in what order to use them because there was quite a few sort of toners couple of serums just didn't know what order to use them were they morning were they night the, the instructions weren't that great and obviously the sizes was just nothing was enough to use for more than two weeks you know what I mean uh, but there was a couple of things like I've got I've still got them upstairs so I've got a toner I've got one toner and I've got a cleansing toner so that was two toners and those are full sizes and I've still got those upstairs you've got this pH balanced toner here so it was like three toners in a small size it was just all very confusing I liked the idea of the seven step Korean system but I wondered if it was a proper seven step and in what order things should have been used the instructions weren't given so it was a bit of a, a weird box for me so yeah this is one of them I did use it up can't really say anything because it was pH balance it was a toner I didn't notice any difference and the things that I don't know if I was using it properly because I didn't know how to use it apart from toner, cotton pad on my face after I've cleansed. Right, this is from Nail Bay. Whoopsie daisy. Um, and it's um, gentle facial toner. Um, definitely from one of the beauty boxes. I would say glossy box, possibly. I actually really like the Nail Bay brand. So I've had toners from them and I've had hand creams from them. And I like them all, all very gentle, very nicely fragranced, gentle fragrances, just nice products, effective, and again, affordable price. But it's something I've received in, pretty certain it was Glossy Box, so again, no problems with receiving it. Nice packaging, does the job, good price. You know, if, again, if I was somebody who wasn't subscribed to loads of beauty boxes, this would probably be a brand I would seek out myself and buy the products from. Yeah, so all nice. Nearly there guys, nearly there. Oh wow, so this is a perfume. So we got this perfume in Glossy Box last, say last year, the year before. So we're looking at 2019. We got this in one of the summer boxes and it was, um, it was a box where we had a choice of fruit or vegetables, I think it was. And if you had a fruit box, you got a perfume. And this was the perfume you got. I enjoyed the perfume so much, I went on and bought another one and another one. So this is like the third bottle of that perfume which I got from Glossy Box. So as much as I slag Glossy Box off, they do sometimes give products which I really like and I've gone on and purchased 
again and again and again. More recently I can think of the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipsticks. I've gone and bought four or five of those and that was the first time I came across it was in Glossy Box. They gave me a crap colour but I love the formula of the lipstick and I went on and bought loads more in the colours that I liked. So Glossy Box. So yeah this is a perfume that I've really enjoyed. I won't be buying any more of it because I mean, I've bought three already so yeah I think I've had my fill of that perfume now. Uh, this is a lip gloss or something. I have no idea what the make is, but obviously used it for a bit and gave up. So, this is something more recently. Um, this is from Grace and Stella, a lavender body lotion. Got this in one of the American Beauty boxes, so it would have been Boxy Charm or Ipsy. I really liked it. Really nice, rich, moisturising lotion. Very small tube though. I wish it was bigger. But it was a very nice lotion, but yeah, very nice. You know, you put it on and the effect lasts a long time. So if you use it as a hand cream, it lasted, you know. Not like your hands feeling dry again two seconds later. Um, another eyeliner, which I picked up from somewhere from LA Glide. LA Glide? LA, LA Girl. Yeah, another cheap one. Yeah, I, I don't think much of LA Girl products. This one, oh, this is really nice. So this I got... I don't know it's so small so it's really really small so it's either from Birchbox or it's from Ipsy Glam Bag and it's the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Face Wash. This is one of my favourite face washes I've ever tried. Beautiful, hardly need any at all. It foams up and it cleans your face, it leaves your face feeling fresh, clean but not dry and dehydrated. Really really nice so I really like this. So this I would like again in a bigger size. Whether I'll go out and buy it, probably not. Same reason, because I received so many products in my beauty boxes, but I definitely enjoyed it. So just remember, I have got um, very oily skin. Some might say it's dehydrated, that's why I produce so much oil. I really don't know, but I love this. This was a really nice moisturiser. Nearly there, guys. More lip products. So this is a lipstick from Bare Minerals, which I probably got in one of my beauty box collections. Um, from QVC I would say go and buy that because Bare Minerals I do tend to get collections from um, QVC and this is the colour they sent not a colour for me so yeah I tried it but I haven't worn it since this is another Bare Minerals Marvellous Moxie so they, they got these glosses I don't know if they still do this Marvellous Moxie but these were glosses and they had a bit of a tingling effect I really really liked them at one point and there was one colour I can't remember the colour which I really really liked it was like a beautiful deep rose colour which is like a, a, a good nude on my skin tone but yeah, I don't think they do it anymore but that was good. Um, this was a eye cream which I got from one of my beauty boxes, another sample from Cordelli. It was alright, it wasn't anything special, wouldn't buy this again. I didn't think it was moisturising enough for me so it wasn't good and Lord knows what this is. I think it was a primer which I got from somewhere, no idea. But I haven't used it because there's still some in there. And that's it. And I think that's it, guys. That's my that's my empties. I've done it. I got through it all. Just got to wade through it all now. So overall, you can see the kind of products I use. I do try to use all of the products I get in my beauty boxes. I try not to waste it. If I think I'm not going to use it, I will give it away or I will resell it. But I try not to build up clutter because it is it's such a waste. My attitude is towards my beauty box subscriptions is if I... If a box costs ten pounds, I want to get twenty pounds in usable products from for me to use. Um, as long as I get double my value in the products I use, I'm happy, and then I can give other products away. Um, if I don't get double the value which I've paid for the box in products that I can use, I get a little bit peeved. I get a little, I get really peeved. So that's my attitude towards my beauty boxes: double the value of the price of the box in the products that I can use not just in the contents of the box so that's why I sometimes criticize boxes quite a bit especially if there's got a whole lot of products in there which I can't use and then sometimes there'll be one product that will save them <laughs> and it's like all right I'll let, I'll let them off that month so that's it that's my trash I will honestly I will try and do these more regularly I'll try and do it once a month but yeah don't hold me to it it might not happen Right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, some of you might be going back to work next week. I am, unfortunately, but I've enjoyed my Christmas break um, as much as I could, considering what's been going on in my family. 
um i hope you all had a good christmas please be safe continue i don't know if you're all in tier four if you're in the uk tier four is for those of you who are overseas is literally almost like a lockdown a complete lockdown we've got to work from home we've got to stay at home no mixing of households at all at all restaurants and entertainment places are all closed the only places that are open are supermarkets doctor surgeries chemists pharmacies that sort of thing um we can still go out and we can still go out and about and walk about exercising stuff like that as long as we keep our social distance if we go indoors we're supposed to wear a mask that sort of thing but so that's what tier four in so it's not a complete lockdown but it's as near as you can get to on um, a lot of businesses are going to suffer because they've had most of the year shut down and they haven't made any money so we can only hope that 2021 especially with the vaccine being rolled out um, is going to be a better year for everybody so please be safe and look after yourselves guys i want to know that you're all still here at the end of this year all right take care